to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to edit on CapCut. so this video was really highly requested and i've been planning out this video so long but y'all don't really care anyway this video is basically how i you know make my thumbnails how i edit on CapCut like a pro and yeah but before we get into this video follow me on instagram that's mainly where i be and i'll be answering y'all questions about how to become a youtuber and stuff like that without further ado let's get into this video so first thing, I edit on my iPad because I feel like it's like a bigger screen compared to like a phone. But it really doesn't even matter what you edit on. You edit on your phone, iPad, your laptop, your Android, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I edit on my iPad because I was just tired of editing on my iPhone 6. It was like, it's such a small phone, but it been really good. So when is it win? Pros and the cons, the basic. Like, I think that's how you see it. So pros is, it's free. It has good fonts. Like, if you don't want to download no fonts you can literally use the cap cut fonts like their fonts is so good it comes with music sometimes their music will you know copyright you like you know but sometimes i do randomly using their music so and that makes your video good quality like you can pick any quality you want now we're about to get into the con of the basics it lags after a while of editing which means that like whenever you were editing for a while it just like lags but you just have to break it loose that makes sense it needs to free storage every time you try to export the video so that means like you run out of storage while editing you try to export the video once you finish editing it's gonna run out of storage it does take a lot of time to export depending on how long the video is it runs my battery down a lot because my ipad is like the lowest generation i think i don't know i'm not sure but it makes my ipad battery go lower if my brightness is up i feel like that happens to everybody but that's what just happens to me so yeah the part y'all been waiting for is rough cut. I'm going to be filming a video and we're going to rough cut it. I'm about to catch you guys whenever I finish filming the clip. As you can see, I have a clip right here. We're going to move it a little bit. And as you can see, I'm doing this. And that's basically what I do every single time I'm like, you know, starting my intro. I'll be like, hey guys, we're going to like cut it that part so that it won't be too long where I'm getting to the point, you know? <laughs> Also, sometimes when you're filming a intro, just make sure you film it like a couple times. As you can see, I say, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to now rough cut it to where it's like me saying the title of the video. Okay, we just finished rough cutting it through. So now we're just about to hear it, see if I rough cut it right or, you know, me taking too long into the point. So we have to listen to it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit on CapCut. Also, how I make my thumbnails. Okay, so that's how we rough cut. Basically, rough cut is basically you just get to the point, every single thing like that. You don't have to rough cut every single word you say. Just make sure you rough cut the sentences you're saying just so you can, you know, just get to the point. You be taking deep, deep, deep breaths. So whenever I take deep breaths, to be like, I just be cutting it out so that it sounds like I'm going to just get to the point. We're literally zooming through this period next is music get my music from this girl right here she literally has all the non-copyrighted sounds like all the non-copyrighted sounds and her sounds are so good it's good that she's helping every single youtuber out there that like get their music from youtube because they're they're just so good yeah that's why i get my music from I usually be trying to find different songs i won't use the same songs in my videos but a song is a song okay Next is preview. So previews is basically the beginning of your video, but it's like showing the the viewers if they want to stay or if they want to go. You just put a couple clips in the beginning of your video, just add some text, add a song, and then boom, that's your preview. So of course, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a preview. I, I don't have a video to make a preview right now because I am currently editing my Sunday reset. Wait, anyways, we're gonna use the clip refill so that you know take a couple clips from like your video clips that you like you know clips that you're you know you mess with a lot and we're just gonna do that <laughs> Next, 
so we're gonna like add our intro i'm not gonna add no sound because i don't have a sound right now so yeah we're just gonna add the intro and then turn the volume up on the intro then what you do is after the intro is gone you add your video again and then boom that's basically how you make a preview that's how you make a preview sure i did not explain it right but i really tried my best if you don't want to add no text to your preview you don't have to here go all my cap cut fonts right here that i've been telling you guys about like their fonts are really good the main fonts i've been using on cap cut is bright um corbin and dark i don't know but I'm going to say how to edit on CapCut. And then boom. That's what you do. Slide it over to match. And then boom. That's how you make your little preview. Next is sound effects. Sound effects is basically just, you know, using sound effects to make your videos like, you know, pop more and sound like it's actually, you know, doing something. Sometimes you don't want to overuse the sound effects because, you know, it may get a little out of hand. But use sound effects whenever you need to. I want to put up my sound effects that I use right now. Yeah, that's the sound effects I use. So, now, this is the part that I am not ready for, but it's okay. So, the last and final thing of this video is how I make my thumbnail. So, basically, the apps I use is Pixar and Fonto. I use Pixar first and then Fonto. First thing you do is go to Pixar, press collage. Yeah. So, I'm going to use my Sunday Reset photos for instincts I guess so this is basically how my son that reset pictures is but I'm gonna make it to I'm gonna do it exactly the way it is wait this is not like that okay this is not the thumbnail I'm gonna be using for my son that reset but it's basically something okay this is how my Sunday reset looks so basically you just save it and then you go to photo and you push restore previous state or you press photo album plain images well not plain images do not press plain images you press photo album and then you go here and press done and then you just add your little text that you want to do or if you made thumbnails already, you press restore state, and then boom. So basically, I use only two fonts for my thumbnails, and I just go to text font, and then boom. I use a Kyra and Cool Vector, and sometimes I use Nubius, Nubius. I don't know how to say that, but if I'm making like. If y'all see like my two previous thumbnails I made, that's the thumbnail. This is the text I use for them. But I'm not gonna um mess with my Sunday reset thumbnail. So that's it for today's video. I hope I helped you guys with editing all the cap cut and all of that sort. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and turn on my post notifications. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to ask me on my IG and stuff like that. And also follow my TikTok because I'm most definitely getting active on there. So yeah, I'm going to end off this video now. I'm going to see you guys in my next video.